planner. We'll see partly cloudy skies to start this afternoon with increasing cloud cover for this evening, becoming mostly cloudy between 4 and 7 p.m. and temperatures mainly in the 30s. Now, believe it or not, this is actually our warmest day of the entire work week, and our high temperature is only 34 degrees. We are going to see dropping temperatures all throughout the day on Wednesday and also just bone chilling temperatures for Thursday and Friday. Tonight, we stay relatively warm. Temperatures will be around 31 degrees with temperatures dropping throughout the day on Wednesday, falling into those lower 20s by the early afternoon. So as for Wednesday, around 1.30 in the morning, so this is going to be overnight tonight. The snow will start to build in closer to daybreak by 5.30 in the morning. Snow showers lining up along and towards the west of US 131. That's going to be the zone that receives the most snow showers throughout the next couple of days, mainly because of lake effect snow banding. By roughly around 5.30 p.m., the snow will still be falling across the region. Heavier bursts will be likely, and by 10.30 p.m., we're going to start to see that lake effect start to settle in, continuing throughout the day on Wednesday and into Thursday and Friday because of our stronger winds and very cold temperatures. The winds are mainly going to be coming from the southwest around mainly overnight tonight. Wind gusts exceeding 35 miles per hour, but by Wednesday afternoon, that's when our winds will be the strongest. Right along the lakeshore, wind gusts between 40 to 50 miles per hour. Inland, they will be a little bit weaker, but still very breezy. The main concern with this wind is actually the blowing and drifting snow potential. We already have snow that's going to be falling. We also already have snow that's on the ground. So in that combination, we're going to see near blizzard conditions, reduced visibility and potential whiteouts because of the stronger winds and the very light fine snow that's going to be falling. We typically see very thin, fine snow when the temperatures are very cold. When temperatures are a little bit warmer, we get the wet, heavy snow. So we're expecting very light, thin snow for the next couple of days. A winter storm warning is in effect between 4 a.m. Wednesday through 7 a.m. on Thursday, and also a winter weather advisory for the following counties in purple. It's all because of the snow that's going to be building in, but also the colder air as well. As for the snow, for locations in dark blue, we're going to see snow accumulations roughly between three to six inches. And then we're going to see snow by again Thursday morning between two to four inches for the locations in lighter blue and much less around one to two inches for the locations in gray. By the time we head into Thursday night and even on Friday, more lake effect snow will be falling. So we will see additional snow accumulation throughout the rest of those days. Taking a closer look with our super seven day planner for Wednesday, when we're factoring in the already cold air and those stronger winds, the feels like temperatures will be dropping into the single digits by Wednesday afternoon and below zero, even closer towards I-94. Lake effect snow will persist for Thursday and Friday. Take a look at those temperatures. Only highs in the lower 20s and overnight lows in the single digits, rebounding back to the 30s for the weekend with additional chances for a few drops and flakes.